Las Vegas Raiders and the New Orleans Saints. This is now down to the Raiders point, point and a half as favorites on the road at the Saints. 49 and a half is your total. Uh, as we start with this one, Adam, this one is interesting because this has now moved down to a point because we hadn't seen Devontae Adams in a couple of days at practice. And as we well know, no matter what you think about the Saints decision to permanently move to Andy Dalton as starting quarterback, which, by the way, that's I'm not making that up. That did happen this week. They are moving to Andy Dalton permanently as the starting quarterback for the New Orleans Saints. Marshawn Lattimore is not going to be out there. I mean, like there's a lot of stuff that should be coming up Raiders here. But uh, boy, you don't have Devonte Adams out there. It is a completely different handicap, a completely different team. And it makes it very difficult on us here as we're trying to do this, you know, on early Friday morning to get this out to as many people as humanly possible to give a proper handicap on this game. I guess I could say with the caveat that if Devonte Adams plays, I like the Raiders. If he doesn't, it's a complete stay away pass for me. I guess I could at least do that. Uh, thank you. Thank you for that information. You uh, you have made it clear for me as to what I'm going to do with this game. Uh, look, there's nothing that we can yeah. say, right? Like, like either either he plays or he doesn't. It has been called, quote, a bad flu uh, for Devontae Adams. We don't know what that ultimately means. We do know that it means he hasn't been on the practice field. Um, this is a game that is very difficult to play in advance because of the injury report. Mm -hmm. But I will, I will say that this is actually, as I mentioned earlier, one of the teaser legs that I have New Orleans plus eight mm -hmm. uh, in the teaser for a couple of reasons. The Raiders in the last couple of weeks where we have seen the Raiders be a bit more lively. It is not because of the pass. It is because of the run. And when we get to the point where we're going to talk about a run first team that is not a good defensive team, and I see the opportunity to get more than a touchdown and to get more than a full score, that is an opportunity that I'm always looking for because this Vegas team now wants to run. Mm -hmm. uh, they are the number one rush DVOA team in the league. OK, will New Orleans be able to stop that run? They are middle of the pack against the run, which is a lot different than going up against Houston last week. That final score is deceiving from the Raiders and Houston last week. Houston had a 20 to 17 lead in the third quarter and the Raiders defense was not looking great. And then Davis Mills, Davis Mills, and you saw a bit of uh, the Raiders rush offense take over late in the game. Here's the biggest problem I have. I would be in the I would be in excitement to, of of huge proportion to fade the Raiders if the Saints had anybody healthy. Right. Yeah. And that's the problem. Right. You mentioned Lattimore. OK, Lattimore didn't practice again. Jarvis Landry didn't practice again. Michael Thomas didn't practice. Andrews Pete's on the report. Ryan Ramchek. It was just a veteran rest day. Then he had a knee added to the report. Like there are so many problems for New Orleans right now on the defensive side. Uh, I see why the line movement is what it is. You're not getting me in uh, with the Raiders. I do not buy this renaissance from the Raiders as being anything other than playing a bad team and taking advantage of a matchup. But on the other side, uh, until the Saints get a little bit healthier, I, I just don't know how you can comfortably get out there and back them. So I played that teaser. You know, again, that's one of those Sunday night teasers that was in my account and uh, I might not get the best of it. Steven, we take a look and I mean, it's uh, it's it's maybe one of the more for me, quite honestly, it might be one of the more confusing handicaps of the year for me, because it's like you look and as Adam just ran through, I mean, this is a Saints team that might be without all of their starting corners if the injury report breaks really sideways for them in a team that's already 29th it drop back EPA per play as it is anyway on the defensive side of the ball. Yet it's still, there's still only one point dogs in this thing. I think the Superdome is still one of the few places where you can tack on point and a half, two points for home field advantage. Whereas we're basically at this point, we're basically under a point. We're basically neutral, you know, when it comes to home field advantage, but you know, there is, an element to the dome down there and they do get super loud and crazy and all those things like that. And so, I mean, maybe there is at least a little bit to that, but it is super, super confusing to me how to, how to handle this thing. Other than if Devonte Adams plays, I guess I would have a lean towards the Raiders, but that's about it. I was tempted to play the over here over 49 and a half, but mm -hmm. that's a high total by today's this, this season's NFL standards. The, the defenses are pretty awful. They are 28th and 27th <laughs> in pressure rate. They are, you know, among the bottom teams in the league and in, in success rate uh, against the pass. So, but you guys have laid out very well all the injury concerns here on both sides. Uh, that's too much for me to, to, to make a bet. Uh, 
Uh, so I'll just leave it at that and we can move on to another game. Yeah, I think the only thing maybe you could do here from a live betting perspective is if if it comes out and let's say Devontae Adams doesn't play for the Raiders and it just likes they're they're just gonna run they're gonna run Josh Jacobs five thousand times in this game or something. Maybe you play a live under or something, you know, like if it just looks like they are going to completely just abandon the pass altogether, maybe that's an angle that you could kind of go at this one if you do want to play it. 